So, remember that giant house I built in the last episode? Uh, it was my, like, permanent base for now. Uh, I tore it down and built something else instead. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Building with Frosted Pixel. Um, that house was not doing it for me. So I built a giant castle. Well, So loud llamas. Well, actually, over here, um, in my new building, or I guess I'm living now, the building of pots. On my new to do list, it checks off as build small castle on island. I, uh, I guess it's a small castle. I have achieved it, and it is indeed on an island. The back is not finished yet, though, but. The path system. It's pretty much complete. I want to finish that path over there today. Add some more trees. Maybe build another house. I don't want that one there. And do something about the cathedral, maybe. Mm, but also, I don't think I showed that building in the last episode. I don't know if I showed that building, because I probably did. But on a live stream, because I... I found the live stream. We built this. Um, it's the mason, I think, that lives here. Where is he? This is... I think he died. Because I had a villager here. And I don't exactly know what happened. Uh, this is all I have for the farmer right now. I don't really know what to add for him. So I think my permanent house might be this. I don't plan on living in the castle. Uh, here is... That might be him. But, oh no, here he is. This guy. Nope, this guy. I was right. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna live over there. Ah, yourself. So, but back to the castle. The original designer of this. Oh, I forget the name. But all credits to who this schematic is from and based on will be in the description. You can find... I guess I'll put whatever links I find to them in the description. Just put credit where credit is due. And then I built this little bridge, which I need to finish texturing. Because I haven't... Started the texture yet, but it's a nice little bridge. Let's take a peek here. It's got some details in the bottom. But yeah. So far, so good. Then, all the wandering llamas, wa wandering trader llamas that we find, we, um, we take them, tame them, and put them. Calm down. In the pit. All the llamas go. I might have llamas on this side and donkeys or something else on this side. I don't know yet. But I've been stocking up all the leads. This one has every single colored trader llama now. Which is fun. And all still alive, hopefully. For much longer. Um So, like I said, we're almost, this place is going to be evolving for a while. And, but we're kind of, I'm kind of almost at a stopping point for now. Because I'm getting a bit tired of building just the village. I, I want to build something new. And with the new update out, this is like the perfect time. Oh transition so next episode i think we're gonna dive deeper into the next update but i really just gotta finish i think that house and some paths and like the forest uh before i do anything also i never built that waterfall that i said i was going to but then never ended up building 
Maybe we'll do that this episode, too. Um, but for now, you actually aren't a good idea to be. Um, I'm just going to leave you for now. Also, I've traded with pretty much every single wandering trader that's put in my path, so I got a lot of stuff. Ooh, speaking of, I'm working on my new base-ish area, I guess. It's got nice stairs now, nice railing. I'm going to add some more stuff in the update, but I got a little bed. Oh, let's look at the town. I can't really see the castle from here, though. I guess I'll, like, poke a hole. There we go. That's a nice spot. So I pretty much have everything now sorted away for the most part. There are a few uh, things that I don't have space for. Which I should probably make space for, honestly. But for now, they're going to hang out in these chests. I cleaned up the stuff that was here. That stuff's all gone. Um, and I think pretty much everything else... Oh, everyone's running to sleep. But, um... Yeah, I pretty much have the area all cleaned up. We got some new paths. I just already showed that. But anyway... Um... What are these signs in here? Oh, there's more stuff in here. Great. So, oh, I want to show you the map as of um, June 1st. The house is still there. So, August 1st. The new map will appear. Then here, and then I might have to start going upstairs or shifting them over by a bit to fit them all in here, in order, which is something that I want to uh, be done. But, did I show this, the bridge? I think I did. I don't remember <laughs> that, that last clip. I don't know if you can tell, it was filmed a day ago. So I was gonna do a quick a little sleep uh, in this. I might live in here. This is a very cute thing I built. Nice carpet, anything in here? Of course there is. Do a little sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. It's now morning. And I hear the villagers larking in there. But, oh yeah, I gave my horsey some armor. Nice armor. I need to detail the ground here a bit more. But, let's go back to over here. Right here is where I said I was going to put the waterfall. And this is a very good spot for a waterfall. Uh, I should actually probably, probably clean this up. Ever noticed that breaking grass kind of sounds like a creeper hissing? Just notice that that is something I was supposed to do a little ago. Do a little one to it. I uh, haven't been back here in a while. <sighs> Let me see if I see a bush. Man, there's a glass wall. It's funny. Hmm. I love this area. It's nice and peaceful. Alright, let's look southward. Um, but I don't think I moved everything yet. So I'm just going to move over a bunch more stuff. But by a bunch more, I mean random garbage. Anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> well, this crop, this is a building that I was going to build on... In down the uh, oh. on the island, but never did. Why am I over here? I 
can't remember. Anyway, how's my little house doing? Oh, too many roots, too many vines. That's a lovely little house you got. It's it's cute. Okay, I should revisit this then. Hmm. Go with Game Plus. Um, but yeah. It's nice and gets darker and then opens up, brightens up. You see the castle. My house, which is like an entry point, the little stables over here. I realize I didn't put the window curves on this side, and I forgot. But I might leave it like that, just to give it some charm. Put the grass and stuff in here. Stony stuff. Wooden stuff, nether stuff, redstone stuff, masonry stuff, oddities, and I guess that'll be what it was. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, greenery. Anyway. Gotta get a lot of this stuff moved over and using um barrels is probably not the best idea but whatever uh masonry And I guess it could spill into other categories, if need be. I guess oddities. You know, I'll be back after I sort everything. So, today we're going to start a brand new project, and I've already, um, made a portal to where this new area, er, I guess new area is going to be, and also a path. So, that was weird. Let's take the path. Yeah, so, I was talking about I want one, like, basically one singular path to stretch throughout the whole place. So this is part of it. Goes all the way to, like, the Llama Sanctuary. Uh, to the Starter Village, which, oh, that waterfall is beautiful in there. I'm gonna have to add some more detail to it. Into, like, the little Starter area, Starter Village. And now, it goes into the forest, and it's getting night. Is it, or rising? It's getting night, so... Hope we don't get lost, but here it kind of stops being a beautiful path and becomes just a line of dirt path. Uh, I want it to be very twisty and windy and fun like that. Um, there are some places that bri bri bridges do need to be built. Stuff needs to be taken out like that. But, I got some great ideas for bridges. Like, here's a nice diagonal bridge where we can build something. Let's take out this tree. Um, and the path goes over here, which is very nice, very cute. It's going to be a coastline. Just need... Gotta give me leather. Uh, yeah, then it goes coastline. You can, like, build some, like, little settlements around here. It's a doggy! Hello. Oh, it's so cute. Um, it splits off somewhere, and I feel like I, I need, like, two paths, and one of them's a mistake. Here we go. So this one was just quickly, hastily done. Um, I didn't even finish this one, but... 
Oh, berry bushes. I didn't pick these up last time, but I'm just going to take some because I don't think I have any or enough left. I know I have some, probably. Anyway, so that's like kind of where the path ends. So, there it is. That's the hill. So I've been in the mood for a long time to build a giant castle. That is cool. It's like two trees merged. And I want... This is a biome that I've never really built in that much. The Mega Taiga, or whatever it's called, Old Taiga Biome now. Look at these rocks. This is one of the most beautiful biomes, I think, in Minecraft. It's got some nice rocks, and the mushrooms, and the podzol, and the coarse dirt. Oh my gosh, there's an... I didn't even notice it's here. That's that's pretty cool. There's a lush cave underneath. You gotta... Key, um, Utilize that. I already do have a lush cave, but we're gonna build this giant sandstone-ish castle, kind of like what I built last season, but bigger and better. I hope. Because last season was kind of on a time crunch, waiting for this update to come out. So not uh, yeah. So we already got a portal here. And let's take free cam up. We have this whole mountain to build on. These these guys have a beehive. Look at this. Look at look at this. There's nothing in there. But I'm gonna level off the mountain. Yeah, let's climb up actually. I wanna mark it out with red wool. Yeah, so I want to kind of, this will be the height for it mainly. So all this is going to go. I need better shears. All this, no more. I'm going to get some TNT. Oh, don't have a beacon. Yeah, I have a beacon. Anyway, but you get the idea, right? This is, um... This is what's getting cut off, and I don't know I have gonna have time to start the outline today. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna bu are these meadows? That's cool. Also die. Nothing. Is this a meadow biome? <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, it's a meadow biome. And it's surrounded by look at these Oh, there's a better place? Let's take a look here. Oh, it's a little pillager outpost, but since we're in peaceful, bleh, peaceful, it's not going to be used for anything, so I guess I'll just take it down. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm pretty set on building up here because it kind of overlooks the whole valley. Although this is more jungly, but I like the meadow. Meadow is a cool biome. So, how quickly does this mine? Uh, we're going to need a beacon. So I've decided to level up my shovel. I got my beacon kit from over there where we were dismantling stuff. And, oh my gosh, this is freaking sad as fucking. We are definitely going to have to do a bit more terraforming. Since we're just flattening a whole mountain. But, I think it's going to be worth it. Also, this is a... I'm going to get a lot of dirt from this. Whew. Um. Yes, yeah, so hopefully after terraforming. This will be good for... Well, re-terraforming, I guess. How big is this mountain? Okay, it's not as much, but I think it'll be okay. But once it gets to the stone, it's going to be a little harder because I don't have only efficiency one. Maybe I'll have to go level up that pickaxe too. I'm 
I'm gonna need some get some chests soon, I think, and some barrels. Some working blocks, some scaffolding. Uh, well, let's get a time lapse going. I'll try to get a time lapse going. If it doesn't, if you don't see a time lapse, that's because it didn't work. So, hopefully, time lapse soon now. So, I have cleared out the area and started work on the actual castle. I did, uh, I worked on this in a live stream. And I don't think the, the time lapse worked. So, here it is. Let's take the free cam up. And it's based on a castle by Gemini Tay. I'll link uh, their YouTube channel in the description. But um, put the beacon up so I could rip this area out more. Um, all the dirt and stuff. Found the found one emerald ore in that whole thing, which honestly is pretty impressive. It wasn't that high of a space. But I think that's where we're going to leave the big castle for now. Um, the plan for the castle is this to be like... This is probably going to be what... I don't really like building big structures in Minecraft. This is probably one of the biggest things I've, I've ever built or will ever build in, mine, build in Minecraft. I got most of it um, laid out. I want to put another circle here, I think. And then maybe a bridge to a freestanding tower. Um, I might raise this circle up a bit more. I'm not too happy with this thing. It's not finished yet. I need to more deep. Whoop. I need to dig more deep slate. But I don't like how it reaches all the way to the bottom, so I might also do some more terraforming with that. Got like a little art stretch part here. I might extend it more. Another circle. And then this area. Oop. This area. It's not going to be at this level. Just because I don't want it to be. But this is probably going to be... I'm going to build a giant mass storage room. So... So it's, this is probably where I'm going to leave it for a while now, because I am tired. All the resources gathering, and this took a lot of time. So I might just finish up the floor in the main area, but as for detailing, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm still figuring out shapes. Um... Yeah, so let's... Where is... Anyway. Let's pop down to the portal. And not die. Um, let's head back to the town. Okay, I don't remember which way is... Oh, here we go. Oh, it is fairly close to the home portal. I moved the home portal up from the ravine just because it bothered me. I had to walk down, to walk back up, and there was nothing else on that level. And I do want to build a big, um, a nether hub. I want to make like another town eventually. But oh, I haven't been back here in a while. <laughs> Just to get like bits and bob pieces for the build. But this is my style. Yes. Small little houses and a small little town. This is my happy place. And I need to figure a design for. I want to build diagonally more. So, I'm thinking of a design over here, and I'm, it's maybe a bit 
controversial, and I don't really want to do it, but I might tear down the big castle in the taiga for a smaller outpost-ish castle. Just because, as of how it's going right now, I'm not too happy with it. And I don't know if I should just build up the whole thing and then tear it down, which would be stupid and a lot of work. Or tear it down now, not really know how it looks. Maybe I'll boot it up in the creative world, finish it off, and then decide. But thank you all so much for watching. All links will be in the description to these wonderful creators, so thank you very much. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.